Welcome back. So what do we think now? I mean, I've seen Seb play the most Nyx Assassin. So do we believe in the kind of five non-support trap or do we believe in OG's run at you? We've we, seen we... a lot of heroes starting with that or getting it early as a core. And like yep. you said, tanks are in vogue. Yeah, there's items like raindrops, which people kind of always forget about, but they are commonly bought anytime there's a nuke like a Skyrath. Sumail is manning up here on Maposhka, and... <gasps> oh, no, he doesn't get the Boundless Strike off! That's the ping. That right there is the the, the high ping. He, he realized the first attempt was going to miss, so he had to cancel it, but then the second one, he died before he could use it. They almost not really converting much, though. As oh. I say that, uh, perhaps I've jinxed Kisani as he's been silenced, pursued by the Monkey King, stunned, and... Looks to be dead. Kill secured by the Boundless Strike. And the bat right, you can kind of see, you, we mentioned how some of these hero counters and matchups work. He's following the Timbersaw around. Timbersaw goes to pressure lane. Batrider wants to go where he is. Speaking of, Lasso down bottom on Funic as the action also breaks out top. Funic has five Napalm stacks on him. In comes 33 as well with the Chen army. They're in pursuit. They did lose the Void Spirit as we saw top a moment ago. Roger still being Firefly's hounded. Off, Seb still has the arcane root. He's got a Firefly soon. I think he's going to commit for this. Yep. Nice stomp. And the Firefly secures the kill and may allow them to just take the tower as well. He has yeah. the first is like five seconds after the first one wears off. And Kasani's having a rough game is getting bullied once again once he comes back to this top lane. Well, does get the Spirit Siphon on No-Tail and they start to work on him. Exorcism coming out. Can Sumail fight this? Doesn't look like uh -oh. it. He tries to man up and it's not going to happen. Kasani. Spooks him with the ghosts, kills him off. Well played by the Death Prophet, and now can try to transition into a push. In fact, No Tail just TPing out, and Roger's rotated in, so it looks like it may end up being a tower trade, but the Funic, the Moon Lord, he's in too far. He doesn't have the stacks, he just melts. No reactive armor, really, and. We'll take over the, the game like I thought Funic might be able to do just because of how well Seb's done following him around the map. And they, once you kill him a couple times, that completely ruins his game. And now he's going to maybe get solo killed 33 with the neutral creeps. Oh. He's low. He's going to have another shockwave, that but Funic so close. does now have the max reactive armor. So he'll heal up. Should be able to get away. Meanwhile, there's an invasion, though. His bounty runes are spawning. Seb gets off the lasso, dragging in the Death Prophet. Doesn't have the exorcism. Soxa. Sneaking in from behind, but there's a Spirit Siphon. Gets the Vendetta hit, gets the stun follow-up. They have the burst, they get the kill. Now onto Maposhka, looking for the Jingu Sumel. Thinking about the Wukong's command, not going to drop it. Maposhka, low, the tree gets dropped, trying to block and run away. Sumel commits the Wukong's, only finds the PL, who just jumps right out of there with Doppelganger. There's uh, Ironwood Tree, but it was actually Sumel, so I guess he was trying to set up for the tree dance ah. into the Primal Spring. Maybe that was the ping again, but didn't end up working out. As the bounty rune spawned earlier, now they're diving Funic and they're going for the Timber Saw and they're gonna kill him again. It looks like tries to chain away. Seb covering the path of retreat and will roast him in the flames. They lost their tier one top while this was happening. Radiant's Batrider trying to counter PL, the Firefly. Um, it's still some decent AoE damage, so they, they're gonna have an okay amount of AoE damage to deal with PL Illusion. Another arcane rune. Seb, he was waiting for a juicier yeah. prize. He brings Kasani into the creep army. He gets shredded. Now Seb chasing for more. Keeps on diving onto Maposhka and Funic. Don't think they can commit for a follow-up kill, but it seems like a good pickup given the, the matchups he's facing. But yeah. the problem is it delays when you can fight with the Diffusal Blade. Absolutely. So it is certainly a trade-off as they make, again, a committed jump onto Funic. And again, Funic's just dead. Oh, Smell hits damn fast. What's he? You know, we on? talked about this as like the five core draft. They've got the, the support Pango and Void Spirit. So they've got the late game, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, if these heroes farm, but they need items later on to really contribute. And yeah. They are the bottom two in terms of net worth. Meanwhile, Death Prophet caught out again. Alliance are there, but here comes the interruption. Rolling Thunder through, combined with the Void Spirit. It's good damage being done. Mystic Flare, not going to kill off the DP. She stays alive. Chen Army in pursuit. She should be able to get out of there. It's a great ambush sprung by Hellraiser. The they found oh. two. Can they get more? The PL, very tanky. He's going to hood up. Gives Pursuit, Seb's got to back away, and Maposhka looking for the catch. Has the Aether Remnant, reels him back in. Soxa ready with the stun. Can he find the angle? He does. Gets Seb, well, maybe towards safety, but he's walking into the DP and right into a Spirit Siphon. There's nowhere to go. They've trapped the bat, and now they've clipped his wings. Three down, looking for four. What a huge turnaround by Hellraisers. They're going to get no tail, too. The lone survivor is Soxa scurrying away. Perfect bait there. Everything was kind of used and thrown on Death Prophet, but when you have that triple Spirit Siphon uh, and are able to turn it around like that, the fight just looks really ugly for OG. It's going to be a team wipe, oh. perhaps. Soxa, he did get off the carapace. Yeah. 
That will save his life, but it can't save the tower. Yeah, they didn't have the Spirit Vessel yet, so... Oh, wow, Toxa again. runs in. Toxa, I don't know if he was ready for round two. Is he baiting or is he feeding? We're about to find out. Sumail thinking about support. It is a team wipe, though long delayed. And the tower to boot OG. That is a big gold swing. They're trying to turn this, though. They get the PL. They found the real one. Can they kill him is the question. They've got a few Jingu stacks. Gets off the Boundless. He's so slow by the Aether Remnant, though. This PL's really tanky. They finally bring Nyx down. Had to commit a lot. Now they're getting Roger. Right back the other way we go. Funnick trying to jump out. Does chain across the way. And no tail still pursuing. He wants a piece of Funnick. Not Sumail's sure he'll be able to get him, after though. him. Nice Aether Remnant by Maposhka. Have a again. counterplay for a Bink. A blink BKB lasso this game. Nope, that could just be a free kill for OG to start off every single fight, assuming whoever gets lassoed. Oh, they won Nyx. Be bursted. This would be Ooh. a tasty kill, but he's a tanky boy. Can they get him? Jumps down towards the low ground. Sumail leaps into the middle of the PL army. That's not really where he wants to be. The Wukong's command comes out, Sumail but Sumail is heals. low. He gets the heals. He stays alive. They're committing everything for Sumail. He does end up getting Kasani, but he pays with his own life. Now Seb on the way out. Yules will interrupt that. He's not going anywhere. Soxa also pulled in. They can kill off Seb and then look for some follow-up. No, they can't. The Jukes. Seb gets out of there. He runs a circle around Nyx. He blinks away to freedom. Can the rest of OG retreat? Still surging forward. Nyx in the midst of it. I don't know if he can fight the whole channel army he's been silenced he keeps on running with the eggs he keeps on chasing he's very strong he gets one now he's looking for more into the pick go the illusions Seb getting pulled back by the aether remnant Soxa on the rear side of the fight does clean up the support pango still Nyx running around the pit Seb trying to he's toy with him this clip oh, so well. he's kiting him so effectively the stun comes through there's the spirit vessel another doppelganger the Chen army just descends and massacres Maposhka Phantom Lancer is going to be next here it looks like Josh is away to the creeps keeps on running mana. I don't think he's getting out of here, gods. He's got the stick. He's got the doppel, and they've caged him into the centaur stomp. No, the help comes in from Funnick. Nyx keeps on running forward, and in the end, he will die. I believe that's for this fight. Funnick on the back foot, now retreating. And Sumail, he's, he's back, back into the fight. He's respawned, rejoined the fray, and they will get the kill on the timber. Oh, man. OG have wards everywhere, and they're going to punish that. They do see Nyx top, Sumail. Lurking in the trees, comes in with the pounce, does get off the Jingu, and they keep on hammering away on Nyx here. He's brought him down pretty low. Yep. Seb has the BKB, has the lasso. He's trying Not to figure out which is the real one. He wasn't sure. Oh, Seb. Yeah, uh, in the end, he's going to hesitate, but he will grab Funnick <laughs> instead. Pulls him out of the Mystic Flare. Uh, few mishaps here for OG, but not yeah. enough to prevent them from getting the kill. I mean, you're just constantly making these little totems that have the Radiance burn, so it's all this AoE damage wherever you go. It's this kind of new monkey king build we've seen here and there against the Illusion Heroes. It's amazing. Sumail is taking a lot of damage from the Shock Room. He's going to commit the Wukong's command. Now chasing forward onto the Death Prophet. Yule Scepter used to try and cover his retreat as they just want to bring this tower down, and they will secure it. Seb, meanwhile, does manage to find a kill on the Void Spirit all the way down at the bottom lane. Yeah. Way out there, and while this is happening, he's, he's going to TP into the Chen army. You're not killing the, those creeps in time, so it's a 5v4 power play. They commit because of the Aegis, and if they commit and they kill him once, he's just going to turn it around on them. You're taking so much damage from the Monkey King statues. Ranged Rax oh, is down, him. and now they found their opening. Diving in on the Death Prophet instantly blows up. She has a BKB, no buyback, not going to get to use it. Now Funnick's in trouble, and Funnick likely to drop. Timber chains away, just barely retreating towards the fountain, but the Spirit Vessel making it hard for him. No Tail is caught out. PL's moving in, but Nyx is just not tanky enough. No matter how many defensive items he builds, he still goes down. OG, trouble. the tips are coming out. The Mana Burn from Soxa secures a fourth, and just like that, OG... Yep. Do they just thrown it? They're gonna. GG. They're gonna try. The GGs are called. Yeah, Nyx Assassin hit a carapace on the Crypt Swarm, I believe. So Death Prophet set herself up to get chain stunned by a impale into Monkey King Boundless Strike. Got blown up. Unable to use BKB. Yes, Ogre provides one disable against Ember Spirit. Nyx Assassin provides two, three with the Meteor Hammer, which we have seen. Oh. I think uh, that lane is probably winning, right? The Legion Commander against Ember Disruptor. Hmm. So this will be a free lane for Funnick, and this is he's very good at setting up his lanes for success. It's often what he does after that where he uh, kind of shoots himself in the foot a bit. While this is happening, Sumail's being dove at the tower. Roger committing for this one. Is he going to get the first up? blood? Sumail, no, he has the fairy fire. And Either way, he'll go back to the lane and have bullied out the Phoenix, missing out a bit of CS to do so, though. 
down at bottom. You can see how the Morphling's faring. 20 they've, loss hits, 7 denies, and possibly kill. They've left kill. Seb alone here yeah. with that Weaver rotation. Ooh. Is not going to live. Big kill for Nix and Maposhka. Bottom. So that's uh, annoying, and that's one of the things Weaver is very good at, which is also, I think, another reason why he's come into the meta as a support is these couriers are uh, quite funny. important. They've brought some punishment for you, my friend. Well, this time at least space created as an exorcism is forced out, and Kasani farming the middle lane. In. And is going to get near Kasani, who's just cleaning up a triple stack of his own. So Soxa thinks about. They know he's here, though. Oh, could he still neutral him? No, he's going to get caught out by the chains. He's in trouble. There's no point in call yet. Doesn't matter. They get the kill. Him. Uh, HR smoked up. Roger leading the charge. Has his supernova ready. They know exorcisms on cooldown. They're going to converge. They find Sumel down bottom. No real backup here. Chain's coming through. The kinetic field will cage him, and the helicopter will go down. Meanwhile, mid, Seb, also in danger, gets off the nuke. Overwhelming odds, and now Sox on the chase. They get the spirit safe and going on Nyx. I don't think he realized that this that vessel, yeah. soul release is already available. And with the silence coming through, the follow-up duel, they get the kill and the duel damage. As a result, they have the net worth advantage despite being down on kills. Yep. And despite Morphling having free farm for the early stages of this game. So, yeah, they've caught up, as you mentioned, in net worth. Yeah, you come for their towers, they come for your lives. They will defend them relentlessly and doing a really good job not losing any tier 1 towers yet. Hellraisers, oh, they get the glimpse off. It's level 3. Follow-up call comes through, and that should secure the Seb kill. Goes Kasplat. But Death still, come in with look exorcism. at the turnaround. The Nyx is here. Gets off the stun on the Ember Spear. No tail low. Not dead just yet. And they do lose the Disruptor as well as the Axe. Yeah. Morphling having to TP out and no way to cancel it. So still Hellraiser sitting towards the mid lane and no tail is scouting. Wants some intel. He breaks the smoke instantly as it's popped. Walking right past the Hellraiser sentry and gets the initiation off on Maposhka. But the backup is converging. They bring no tail low. He gets purged. Bicep healed back up and will retreat. So denies the smoke, now the glimpse. They reel him back in. They don't want to overcommit on No-Tail. They know there's bigger targets, but he gets off another good carapace. Into the back lines goes Soxa, and they found Funic once again. Funic's going to go down. Die. The egg not in a good position. They lose Roger too. That's two heroes dead and an alt it's, down. This is like the dream five position Nyx play. You just, everyone's throwing spells at you and you're getting off multiple carapaces. You die eventually, but your team is just using your death to win the fight. Keep trying to force the action like in a 4v5 scenario. And they're going to do it again, but they're ganking a 5 position Nyx if they even kill him. Blink, debut. Time. There's the call. Got the carapace off. And he gets the carapace, but <laughs> uh, should go down to the battle hunger. Yeah. I think it was the uh, illusion room. Nothing too useful. The odds still favoring OG, not as convincingly. So some faith in the Hellraiser's draft. Morphling is farming. You know, he's not that far behind, but he is behind, which yep. is concerning. And it is the more first gyrocopter, so we're going to see Morphling getting the free flat kind Kasani, of these fights. Uh -oh, he gets caught here by the carapace. The silence coming through as well. Do they have any way to save him? Duel crashes in. They get the kill, and now they turn on the egg. Seb just smacks it down, finishes it off with ease. Good static storm here, but it only yes, deals with the Aegis. Do they have enough for round two? No tail survives. Big remnant forward. Kasani committing for this. Can he kill off this pesky bug? He will. Now he needs to get the hell out. He's out. Out of remnants and OG just not able to catch him. Well, so they they get the Nyx. <laughs> but story of this game. That's a buyback for Nyx, and it might be Kasani going down if he's not careful. He's failing. Don't tanky. have the catch right now without yeah. the Nyx. They probably see 21 charges and they're like, yeah, how, this guy's got 20 charges. Like, let's not overcommit. Spirit Vessel makes him very tanky as well. 33 could be in danger. He popped the Essence Ring, but he was afflicted by the Soul Release. Ooh. Now Nyx waving in. Senses opportunity. This is where Morph can be strong. Maybe they do need the Nyx Assassin to fight. Yeah. Well, Soxa is finding the backline kills. There's the call. Follow-up coming through, but the dual counterplay. I don't know if it's enough damage. They do end up losing Sumail. The Morphling stays alive. Soxa's got to back off, but No Tails rejoin the fray. He gets up the Carapace on Nyx, keeps him controlled, while Seb tries to deal with Roger. Ember Spirit died back. That's a big loss. Hellraisers, though, they can make up for it if this Morphling finds some extra kills on the way out. No tell. He just came back into the fight. The press, the okay. attack, prevents him from dying twice. They really want to set up on Kasani here bottom. There's the Carapace initiation from No-Tail. Follow-up comes through with 33. Has the Exorcism flowing, but the backup's arriving. Call by Funic, dragging him in. 33, he's diving really far for this. BKB committed. I think OG are just going to have to back. No creeps yet. No, they're sticking around. They want to keep on fighting. Warning shot fired. 
by Nyx. The chain's coming through. They are working 33 down. BKB's over. Purge. Is nice it enough? Lapse. The blink call. They drag him back again, trying to keep him alive. The egg dropped in a great position. OG, oh, no way storm? in hell they can fight it with the static storm laying over the top. They get two. They might just get a third. 33. Gonna He'll go Danny. down. It's going to be four. OG, a catastrophe. It's a full five man wipe as hell razors slay them. Oh, yeah. They, I think OG we're seeing maybe have some damage issues until Gyro gets another item or two. Uh, the Weaver Exism. And he's just got a rapier good, already queued up for oh. Sumail. Straight into wow. raw damage. You want damage, you'll get it. Seb, well, that's some damage. <laughs> quick quick assassination as Hellraisers. Now look for more. Kasani with the two hero chains. What a nice setup. Now Nyx waving in. He tries to man up on Sumail. I don't know if he can fight into the Satanic. It, it seems he can, actually. He's just fine. Shotgun. He's winning the fight. No, no, he gets stunned. He will get killed off. The time lapse healing him up and... Sumail just too tanky with all yeah. these saves. Underestimated them as Funic TPing out, narrowly gets away, so suddenly it's three dead. More I'm greedily on the map because he doesn't have to worry about Nyx just vendetting him with a carapace. So. Sumail has tipped his hand now as the sacred relic enters his inventory, and they are hunting. No tail, walking in. He will get the stun on Maposhka here. Follow up swarm coming through. They do connect with the chains, but Maposhka. Can't run away from that here, Jewel as well. pesky bug. They get the kill, and on the Ooh. south side, Seb, he finds the Phoenix. So suddenly, a 5v3. OG with an Aegis. They're in position to go high ground. How do you possibly get any combo off here? <laughs> Disruptor, maybe a two-hero Static Storm on the BKB Death Prophet and the Gyrocopter with Aegis. Good luck finding easy kills. I don't think there's going to be a repeat of that team fight, but Hellraisers, if they don't go soon, they're going to lose two lanes. They finally have Phoenix respawning. Oh. It's time to make but your move. If they don't go soon, Sumail's rapier's on the way on the courier, so it's, it's going to get now. even harder. OG, they're just going to—they might just try to win with this Aegis gods. Yeah, I mean, while he's got—you want—if you're going to combine it, you want to do it now while he's got Aegis. No tail. He blinks out. Uh, uh, he baits out the blink call. They start okay. tickling Sumail. Here comes the rapier. Will he combine I, it? Yes, he will. Yeah. Instant purge off, removing. That Spirit Vessel charge as they do catch Funic once again. It's No-Tail with the Carapace, forcing Funic back and away. The whole Hellraiser squad has to get out. He's Satanic's up. He's man fighting. They get the duel. They kill off the Morphling. He's dead. No buyback for 70. OG could just win the game now. Yep. They that don't know this buyback is unavailable, but they're going to find out real soon when it's not getting used and their team is aggressively diving. They lose the next instant buyback. They're going for it. OG trying to speed run this game number two and close it out with a 2-0 for Hellraiser. Sumail, though. Oh, the time lapse keeps him alive. Tier fours are dropping. OG Still committing. Alive. Roger, he can't deal with the flak. He might just go down. He's got to jump all the way back into the fountain. They're running out of time. The cheese. They're holding OG. They're going to kill off these heroes. They still keep the gyrocopter alive. The egg gets blown up. 33 with the auto attacks. Now turning back for the axe. It's a massacre. Hellraisers have been raised out of this game. OG, oh, just like that. You know, it's like they hit the gas and yep. 